George Davis is finally innocent. The Londoner, who has spent decades denying his involvement in a 1970s armed robbery in Essex, has won an appeal against his conviction. He became a household name after a campaign to get him released from prison, saw Headingley Cricket Ground vandalised, pop stars writing songs about him and slogans of support being graffitied around the country. Although his status was somewhat undermined by a subsequent conviction for another armed robbery, as Asha Tana now reports. Surrounded by loyal friends and family, George Davis was all smiles as he toasted his success at the Royal Courts of Justice today. The former inmate won an appeal against his conviction of involvement in an armed robbery, something he's denied for 36 years. I am very satisfied that at last I can turn around and say, I didn't do it. Although that's not what the appeal court said. I can say it. I didn't do it. The ruling by the appeal court came after a report which would have helped George Davis's case was heard for the first time. Davis's case became part of criminal folklore. His campaigners insisted he was the victim of mistaken identity and had not taken part in the raid at the London Electricity Board. Do you know if any of that graffiti still exists today? I think there's a couple of places, yeah. Can you uh, name where? Uh, I think there's one in Summers Lane um, in East London. There's still one there, sort of on the, on the wall. I think there might be a couple about, but uh, I keep going around there and repainting them, but nothing. <laughs> In 1975, Davis was tried along with three other defendants, but was the only one found guilty. His imprisonment led to calls for his release back by celebrity supporters. The punk band Sham 69 wrote a song about him. The Who frontman Roger Daltrey wore a T-shirt proclaiming his innocence and supporters even vandalised the pitch at Headingley Cricket Ground in Leeds, forcing the test match between England and Australia to be abandoned. Davis was released early from prison. The royal prerogative was used to free him as there was serious doubt about identification evidence. However, his conviction was never quashed. But his freedom didn't last long. Davis's widely supported campaign was soon undermined after he was jailed for armed robbery again, not once, but twice. There will be people out there who will say, at the end of the day, you are a convicted robber. Yes. Um, so there shouldn't really be that, that amount of sympathy for your, your cause. What would you say to them? Well, I'm, I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm, I'm looking for right, and right has, right has occurred. I've never denied. I, I pleaded guilty to uh, a robbery, bank robbery. That was it. I mean, I did, and I did what I had to do. Davis says there was no financial motive for his appeal, and despite his other convictions, he wanted to prove to his critics the writing for this case was certainly on the wall. George Davis is innocent um, and drinks orange juice, by all accounts, so I'll excuse you from that particular bar. Tonight